Your chain will be in multiples of five and you'll add four more on the end. This stitch is a two row repeat. You'll be repeating rows two and three. For row one, we are going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So we'll be skipping one, two, three, going in the fourth chain from the hook, making a double crochet. This chain at the beginning does count as a double crochet, so you have two double crochets right there. Then we'll chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip three. One, two, three. Put a double crochet in the next chain. And then also put a double crochet in the next chain. Now we'll be repeating. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three. Go in the next one with a double crochet. And then go in the next one with one double crochet. Chain three, skip three, go in the next one with a double crochet. And go in the next chain with a double crochet. Continue repeating this across the row. At the end of row one, after you've completed your two double crochets and your chain three, we will skip three chains. One, two, three. We have two left. We're going to put a double crochet in each of those. And that will complete row one. We're going to go on to do row two and three, which are your repeat rows. We are going to chain three. And then turn our work. That chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to skip over this next double crochet, and we're going to work into the center chain of our chain three. So one, two. There's the center chain, and we're going to make five double crochets right into that chain. Try to grab two loops there and make your five double crochets. Okay, there's our five double crochets. We're going to skip across these two double crochets here, and we're going to go into that center chain, in our chain three here, and put five double crochets just like we did here.
And we're going to be repeating this across the row. Go over to your chain three, go into the second chain, which is the center one, with five double crochets. Continue that and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of row two, after you've put your five double crochets into your second chain of your chain three, like we've been doing all along, we are now going to make a double crochet in our very last stitch. We're going to skip that first double crochet and put a double crochet on the top of that chain three at the end that counts as a double crochet. Put a double crochet on top of there. We've now completed row two, which is the first of the two row repeat. Let's go on to row three. We will chain three and turn. We're always gonna chain three at the end of our rows. That chain three represents a double crochet. And now we're going to put a double crochet into the first stitch of our shell. So in that first stitch, we put a double crochet. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to put a double crochet in the last stitch of our shell. And then we'll put a double crochet in the first stitch of the next shell. And then we'll chain three, skip the next three stitches. And then we'll go into the last stitch of our shell with a double crochet. And then we'll go into the first stitch of the next shell with a double crochet. So right now we're working on row three, which is the second row of the two row repeat. Chain three, skip the next three stitches, go into the last stitch with a double crochet, and then go in the first stitch of the next shell with a double crochet. Continue doing that across the row. When you've completed your last chain three of this third row, you will make a double crochet in the last stitch of our shell. And then you'll make a double crochet in our chain three at the end. So these two rows we just did is our two row repeat. Let's go ahead and repeat those again. Chain three. And turn your work. And we're gonna skip across that double crochet and we're gonna put five double crochets in the center chain of our chain three there. So right into the chain, five double crochets. Then we're going to skip right past these two double crochets from the previous row and we're going to go into the second chain of our chain three with five double crochets.
Okay, and that's our five double crow shapes. Now we're going to go to the next chain three, go to the second chain in the chain three, and put five double crochets in there. Right into that chain. Continue that across the row. When you've completed your last five double crochets into the second chain of your chain three, we're going to make a double crochet in the very last stitch. One double crochet. So now we've repeated row two. Now we're going to repeat row three. Chain three which counts as a double crochet. Turn your work in that very first stitch of your shell, you will put a double crochet in there. You'll chain three. You'll skip three stitches, go into the last stitch of your shell and put a double crochet. And then go into the first stitch of your next shell and put a double crochet. Again, chain three. Go into the last stitch of your shell and put a double crochet. And go into the first stitch of your next shell and put a double crochet. Continue to repeat that, chain three, go into the last stitch of your shell, make a double crochet. Go into the first stitch of your next shell with a double crochet. So right now we're repeating row three of the two row repeat. I'm coming to the end of the row. I've chained three. Now I'm going to put a double crochet in the last stitch of our shell and a double crochet in our chain three at the end of our row. And then next what you will do is repeat row two. So we're two and three are the ones we're repeating. There will be a list in the description box to give you some ideas of what this stitch can be used for. Please subscribe and like and let me know in the comments what do you think of this stitch and what do you think of my tutorial. Thank you so much and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.